Welcome back to more Endless Ocean. We just touched those Popeye Grenadiers. We rubbed them real good. We rubbed them down hard. We gave them a nice stiff chub. And now we're moving on. See, piggies, oh my god, these things in the game are super duper cute, but they're not in real life. They're not nearly as cute in real life. I looked them up after I first saw them. I was like, oh, look how cute these things are. And then I looked them up in real life. I was like, oh, those really aren't that cute. <laughs> Survey complete 521. Uh, that plaque is dated two, doors, two days before the accident. This is a good spot. I'll sink another air station here in the northern crevasse. Okay, you do that, man. Hello, Pancake. She's just sitting next to me like, what's she doing? Okay, it's good to go. This will be your base while you explore the northern crevasse. If your air starts to get low, return here to refill your air spot. Let's go ahead and do that, even though I'm re really running low. We'll just go ahead and do it just to be safe. All right, next plaque is right here. Thank you for pointing that out to me, Derp. You're such a good little dolphin. You do good. You should oh my gosh. Do you see what I see? We're gonna ignore the text because I don't fucking care. Look what I see, y'all. Oh my fucking God. Look at this monstrosity. What a monstrous giant squid. It appears to have taken up residence in this cave. It's far too dangerous to try and enter while that beast is hanging around. I see a giant squid is blocking our path. I doubt the pulsar will be of any use against a creature of that size. What can we do? You know, the sperm whale is a natural enemy of the giant squid, and sperm whales often travel through the northern crevasse. If there was some way we could guide one of them here, it might frighten the giant squid into leaving the cave. I'm going to try and touch it. I don't think I can. I think I have to wait until after the whole sperm whale deal. So we're going to call the sperm whale by using the whistle, because that's how you call any, any uh, whales or... Uh, or dolphins see like there comes there comes derp like what can I help you with and he's like guys I'm trying here he's like I'm right here okay okay I'm trying I'm trying um isn't that what you're supposed to do is you just whistle isn't that what you're supposed to do I thought that's what you were supposed to do was the whole deal oh look at this look at you we're gonna touch you what kind of fish are you you are a fan fin hello mr fan fin what's going on buddy are you another one yes you are um let's try that again um i'm thoroughly confused my friends because I thought the sperm whale was supposed to come when you uh, used the whistle on it. Thought that was the whole dealio that was going on. Let's refill our air tank. I'm just gonna keep doing that. Let's check the map. Uh, let's keep going this way and see what happens. There's our sperm whale friend. And Pancake is in front of my Wiimote. And now I can't like at her at all okay i was like having so much trouble controlling if you use one of your tools to get it to okay now i have to use the uh, i'm gonna touch it first though we're gonna touch it and then we'll call it hello mr sperm whale or missus i don't judge you, you go by whatever you would go by all right now we're calling it so now do we have to uh the sperm whale is not changing maybe a little close okay so let's try going this way just a bit. Oh, excuse us. Excuse us, buddy. Excuse, but excuse me. But excuse me. Let's try it out. <coughs> oh, you attracted the sperm whale's attention. 
oh no it's gonna ram us because every they're gonna use that every chance they can and it's like there's no point in using it really it's it's, it's kind of a stupid mechanic the sperm root whale's root has shifted slightly to the east it probably won't notice a giant squid from there so we gotta get a little bit closer now and guide it just a bit closer here Sperm whales, maybe too close. Okay. Let's see if we can come all the way over here and now call it. Let's see if that works. Yes. Yes, here it comes. You attracted the sperm whales. Now let's judge again because we're going to use that mechanic every chance we can. Yeah. <coughs> the sperm whale's root has shifted slightly to the east from here. It should notice a giant squid in no time. Yay! Let them attack each other while you're just sitting there trying not to die. Oh, watch this beautiful cutscene of them attacking each other. <coughs> I gotta admit, the textures that they use on the giant squid are not great. Especially around like the eyeballs and everything. You can tell it's just a texture. It looks a little creepy because it looks really flat. And done. Oh, look at that. Look at that fight. Look at that fight. Fighting to the death, man. That's pretty hardcore, man. That's pretty hardcore. Supposedly, this is what happens in, in the wild. Supposedly. Sperm whales are dicks, man. I've heard, I've heard they are... Uh, they are quite dickish. Uh, not just just two other animals in general. I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt. I'm not astounding. No, you'll be remembered, able to enter the cave. So now can I can I touch the? Uh, it probably is gonna tell me you can't get close. You're gonna get hurt. Deep sea battle. Okay, that's apparently a thing. Oh, but hello there. I'm going to touch you. You are an oarfish, aren't you? Yes, you are. Hello and welcome to the party. Fuck yeah. All right, let's let's get to where we need to go now. Let's get back to that uh cave that we can now get into. Is that you, Nerp? Oh, no, you're a different kind of dolphin, aren't you? Can you hear me? This is Jean-Eric. That's a Reese's dolphin. Its mouth is smaller than that of most other dolphins. Their young are all a pale gray color, but they turn white as they grow older. I could say the same about myself. Every year my beard gets whiter. <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm getting old. Everybody gets old. I have to make fun of John. Jean-Eric. He's kind of a retard. Alright, so let's fill up real quick. And then we'll continue into the cave where we need to be going that is now unoccupied by the giant squid and I hate that I can't touch the giant squid I just I touch him and I get the giant battle so giant's lair so Matthias must have uh, he must have uh, come when the uh, giant squid was not home. I'm going to assume that the giant squid is. <sighs> and sad face, there is the submarine. Crashed and totally decomposed and shit from <coughs> 20 or 15 years ago. Let us bring back all of the sad shit. You found the submarine HT9. The final piece of the dragon flute that Matthias must had must be inside. The rescue team searched the submarine 15 years ago, but please, look again. Find the decomposed skeleton of my dead son. <coughs> if we can't found a waterproof bag. Yay. Cool beans, let's take it. A waterproof bag? So they did miss something. Matthias must have left it there as he... Please bring it back to the boat. We'll look at it together here. Okay. Well, first I'm going to look around. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can find the uh, remains of your dead son here. Even though I'm pretty sure he, there are no remains that he uh, was able to make it out. 
but you know you know yeah this is a totally enclosed room here um and i can't find any zoom spots because i didn't come with oceana you should, probably should have so i could have gotten some zoom spots i think i've only found like one zoom spot since being down here yeah i have not done a very thorough job but we're gonna go ahead and go back to the boat that way we can further the story a little bit more and see what's in that waterproof bag i'm going to bet you 20 bucks that it's probably the third piece of that dragon flute but that's just a hunch that I got. That it's just a hunch. You know, you know. It, so, yeah. Well done. I'm so relieved to see you back safely. Let's take a look at that waterproof bag. My voice is starting to go. Inside the waterproof bag, you find survey equipment, reports, and also the lapis disc. Cool beans, yo. <coughs> A lapis lazuli disc. This must be it. Yes, this is the third and final piece of the dragon flute. As I suspected, it was still in the HD9. Ahoy, what's this? Jean Eric, there's something else in here. Lost letter. Ah. What is that? A letter? Let me see it. This is addressed to me from my son. Dearest father, I'm writing this from inside the HD9. The engines have failed. I can't fix her. I'm going to try and get out of here. I have no gear and I'm 650 feet down. But with my experience, I think I've got a chance to make it out alive. I won't give up. I never have. I learned that from you, Dad. But if you're reading this letter, I didn't make it. I prepared for that possibility. I've left behind three pieces of lapis lazuli for you. Two of them carry a message. I hope that message will take you the last step to the truth I never found. I'm so sorry for how selfish I've been and for how much I've hurt you. All I ever wanted was your respect, for you to be as proud of me as I am of you. Please let my precious daughter Oceana know that I love her more than anything. If I don't make it, I'll become one of this blue world and watch over her forever. Your loving son. <laughs> title he loved so much my mind is made up i will go after the pacific treasure please help me and find it of course because i want to get rich man i want to get all that booty we've been waiting for you to say that i'm truly blessed to have met each and every one of you i couldn't ask for a better team LNL Diving Services investigation in the Zahab region depths come to an end and brought its members closer together now that you have all three pieces of the dragon flute you return to nine ball island to examine them Cool. Uh, yes. Let's record my dive progress. Please. I don't want to have to redo all this shit. I like to dance around with the penguins when they dance. It's kind of fun. I do a little jig. I do a little jig and I shake my shoulders and I shimmy, 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 shimmy. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really tired, y'all. You finally have all three pieces of the dragon flute, the key to the Pacifica treasure. I'm thinking about it. In thinking about it, you realize Oceana's father had all three pieces before he died, but if he had them all, why couldn't he find the treasure? Will you ever reach the end of the road to the truth? No, probably not. Yeah, of course we will. So now we have all three pieces. Let's combine them to make the dragon flute. But, uh... How does this thing work? How do I know when I've made a flute? Yeah, the third one looks more like a piece of a recorder than anything. I thought it would be another cylinder, but what do you know? It's a disc! I love how the word disc is yellow. Like, what did... In, in international versions of this game, what did they replace that with them? I know it's like every word, everything that's in yellow is something that has changed depending on what region of the world the game was... This version of the game was brought to. So this is the US version, but I know like there's a European version where I think it's like R&R &R diving service instead of L&L. &L. I don't know. What do you think? How would you attach the third piece? Um, I wonder. Horizontally onto the back. Yeah, I think that's where it belongs. Oh, no, that's that's not what I was picturing. Um, horizontally then? Nope, that's definitely not what I meant. Sure. Let's try vertically. I'm not sure what they mean by that, you know? 
That's how it's supposed to look. They click. They look like they fit together perfectly. This looks promising, but dragon flu is not much of a flute. It looks more like a baby's rattle. No, I think this is the correct construction. Look closely. It's the same shape as our sea whistle. Holy sea cow, it is! This must be an ancient sea whistle! The legend states that the dragon flute gives the location of the Pacific a treasure, and also opens the door to it, like a sort of key. Perhaps there's more to discover from the dragon flute. Do you mind if I examine it for a while? Hayako is inside the cabin. It would be best to wait outside and chat with the others. Okay. Well, that's a great place to stop, actually. Except Ocean is going to talk to us. Okay, that was not worth it. Alrighty. Well... This is a great place to stop. We're finding out. We're continuing on our path to the road to the truth. Hello there, sexy. Mm, look at you. Um, so we're going to continue in the next episode to find out if we can find out some more info. All right, see you tomorrow at seven. Bye. Hey.